Welcome back to our channel. Before we get into today's video, please turn on that notification bell when you like, comment, and subscribe, and just show us some love so that we can get you some more amazing content. And with that, let's get into sweating the small stuff. As always, if you'd like to come work with me, suitsandposing.com is where you have to go. We do hair, makeup, suits, and posing, all of the fun stuff when it comes to competing. Uh, if you have not done so already, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube so, channel. I actually go have subscribe, like, comment, and share with all your friends. <laughs> welcome, you guys. Welcome. Okay, so tonight's topic, we're going to talk about sweating the small stuff. So what does that mean exactly? What that means is this sport of bodybuilding is a sport of details, right? The most minute of details. And the more that you do correctly, the closer you get to that finish line, right? So many of you guys on here, you're on here for whenever I review these shows or do previews, that sort of thing. And what's the common theme when I do a wrap up of a show? We're focusing on details, right? Little teeny tiny minute details make the difference between getting first and getting sixth and out of the top five. This is the case from the local level all the way up to the Olympia. And the better that you get, the higher you go in levels, the more the details matter. So what we do here, obviously we do hair, makeup, suits, and posing. Those are details. Those are detailed details, right? Teeny tiny details, but they make a difference. How many times have you guys heard me say something about a show where I'm like, that suit color didn't really flatter her or that suit cut was too small or that suit cut was too big. We couldn't see the roundness of her glutes because of the, the cut on her glutes. How many times have you guys heard me say that? Details matter, right? The details matter. Now, when you're just starting out, a lot of times the details can be very overwhelming. Uh, girls get kind of like that paralysis of analysis sometimes. And trust me, I've been there myself. I say this thing all the time. I've been doing this for 12 years now, almost 13 at this point. When I first started competing, Instagram didn't exist. We had Facebook and we had MySpace and we had bodybuilding.com, right? I got all of my training programs off of bodybuilding.com. The way I started was by watching Erin Stern and her transformation on bodybuilding.com. That's what got me interested in the sport. That's what got me started, right? And I literally just pulled workouts from, from bodybuilding.com. I found my first coach through bodybuilding.com. That's how I found everything was, th that was it. That's all we had. So there was none of this like paralysis of analysis, meaning now as a new competitor, you can get stuck in those details. You know, you think you have to look perfect when you get on stage. That's not the case. Sometimes when you're brand new, you just gotta rip the bandaid off and actually get up on that stage. Now, you wanna be prepared. You wanna go into the show as prepared as possible. There is a lot of information out there, but I also want you to understand that as a new competitor, you are not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna happen. What you have control over is the details in everyday life that take you towards getting on stage. You have control over that. That's where you need to sweat the small stuff, right? So what you need to sweat is you need to sweat getting up every, every day and doing your cardio. The small stuff you need to sweat is you need to get up every day and do your training. The small stuff you need to sweat is doing what your coach told you to do, check in when your coach told you to do, uh, posing, get, get your posing practice in every single day. Those are the things that you as a new competitor, you need to sweat. Because as a new competitor, you're going to be up against other new competitors. And some of them will be sweating those small stuff and some of them will not. And if you are doing your homework, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're doing what your coach is telling you to do, then you're gonna show up looking better. You're gonna show up looking better than the other people on that stage, right? But there becomes a point, like I said, where you become paralysis of analysis and you just watch everything way too much. 
I tell people all the time, going back to this bodybuild.com thing, right? If we had Instagram around and things like that back when I first started, I may never have started. <laughs> I may never have gotten on stage because there is just so much information out there that it's really hard to weed through and figure out what you're supposed to be doing. It can be very overwhelming, you know, and you can definitely get stuck on details that don't matter, right? Sometimes it's a detail that you don't even realize would make a difference until you change it, i.e. suit color, and that's where you come in. Absolutely, 100%, 100%. And at, those are the things now, when you get into it and you start competing a couple of times and you know you wanna move up in the ranks, things like that, that's where those details, Devin, that you just mentioned, make a difference, big time difference. Oh my God, that was totally me this year. I had to jump out. I had to jump out there and get on stage. I practiced posing nearly every day. And even though I was freaking out on stage, no one could tell. No, you did a great job in your posing and presentation, your first show. So that's something too. Like if you go out and you own the stage the first time that you compete, you did your job. You know, you don't have control over how the results go that day. But what you have control over is the small stuff that you sweat every single day, which for you was posing and presentation and making sure you get your training in and making sure you get your diet done and all those kinds of things. And now, since you did it, and you did, you own the stage, you really did. So now that you did all of that, now you can start sweating some of those details that you got as your feedback, right? Now you can start sweating that small stuff so you can move up in ranks, right? Tell them, I will. <laughs> Come on, your eyes, Baba Kitty, your eyeshadow is delicious tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, the browns definitely play on the blues. That's for sure. <laughs> thank you. Um, and I rarely wear eyeshadow. If you guys haven't noticed, like my thing is I've got my lashes and my eyebrows and then I'm good. <laughs> I rarely wear eyeshadow. <laughs> Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. So, you know, sweating the details comes into play as you move up in the ranks. Now, again, what you have control over as a new competitor is just doing everything that you're told to do. As long as you do everything that you're told to do, then you're going in the right direction. You know, you're, you're, you, at some point, you got to rip that bandaid off and you got to get on stage. Okay. Now, now you're going to move up. Now you've got some, some feedback. Now you know what to do to get better. Now is when those details really start to count, right? The things that you have control over. You have to sweat the small stuff because as you move up, it just gets harder because the girls around you are sweating the small stuff too, okay? Those details like suit color, those details like hair color, hairstyle, makeup, tan. How many of you guys have seen, we talked about this. There was a, what was the show? Big man show where we had a pro that was on stage with big white moons underneath her glutes. That's a small detail that makes a big difference when you're on stage. Big difference when you're on stage. Make sure your tan is on point. Gotta make sure your tan is on point. Those little things, they matter. If I can't see your physique through your tan, then everything that you did, all of your work that you did is for nothing. That's a small thing that you should be sweating. Figure out your tanning situation prior to showing up for your show. I am very fair skinned. I have to make sure that my tan situation is figured out before I get to the show that day. Or you can't see anything on me. You can't see nothing. I look see-through. <laughs> so those small things are the things that you need to start sweating as you move up in the ranks, right? How many times has it been that we've sit here and we, you know, we go through these shows, these pro shows, and we analyze, and what's the difference? The fullness of the glutes, or the fullness of the shoulders, or roll of skin on the lower back. That's how minute these details get, you guys. That's how mute, minute these details get as you move up. Now, if you're not a pro, then don't get the paralysis of analysis thinking that you have to do everything that these pros are doing. Okay, sweat the small stuff that you have control over. Like I said before, 
Somebody else. If I, what am I missing that, that, that you have control over in your daily life? So we, we have control over doing our job. Our job is cardio, training, posing. What else? Yoga, flexibility training, mental training, doing meditation, recovery. What else? What are some other things? What are some things that I haven't mentioned? I'm sure I'm missing some stuff. But this is stuff that you have control over every day. you got to know what your weaknesses are. My weaknesses, great example. My weaknesses, I have to grow glutes, right? So what have I been doing every single day? Well, not every single day. Three times a week. Twice to three times a week. I go to cool toning. I've gone through three rounds of cool toning this year because I know my glutes are my weakness and those little details of activating my glutes a little bit better make a difference for me when I'm in the gym. Stretching, yes, absolutely. Sleep, yes. Sleep is a huge detail. Guys, that is one thing I'm really bad at. And it's not for lack of trying. <laughs> it's because I have dogs that like to sleep on top of me. That's why my sleep sucks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? can't kick my dogs off off of me literally like I get sandwiched like Piggles on one side Elvis is on the other Dolly's on top of me I am boxed in <laughs> sleep is huge what else water water water's another one that I'm bad at so I got my, my my jug here this jug even has times of day can you see that even has times of day when I should be drinking this is a half gallon so this is my second one I drink a gallon a day. Try to drink a gallon a day. So it has times even on there of when you should be drinking everything, right? Water is huge. This is the little stuff that you should be sweating. This is the little stuff that takes you from being okay to being great. And here's the thing, like you wouldn't, probably wouldn't notice this stuff from day to day if you kind of fudged it a little bit. You know, maybe maybe you do macros for your diet and you don't hit your, your carbs perfect every day, right? Maybe you go over by 10 grams every day. 10 grams adds up. That 10 grams adds up over time, right? Those details make a difference. Those details make a difference, okay? So if you're that person that you're like, ah, I'm going to put it off till tomorrow, not going to do it. Um, I'll get it done tomorrow. You got to switch your mindset because you know what? The girl that you're going to be standing up next to on that stage is not putting it off until tomorrow. She's doing it now. She's doing it now. That girl that knows what her weakness is, she's going to get cool toning done on her, on her abs or on her glutes or on her thighs. Yeah. By the way, wellness ladies, you can do cool toning on your, on your quads. Just at a FYI. <laughs> maybe you don't go and you, you don't do your skin prep right for your tan so your tan is screwed up day of the show that happened I did a show um when was this this was 2015 I think it was 2015 St. Louis and a girl flew in from the UK she flew in from the UK to compete to St. Louis and she didn't skin prep so guess what she turned green she flew all the way from the UK and she didn't skin prep so her tan turned green. That is a small detail that made a big difference. And she looked great, but you couldn't see her because her tan was terrible. Her tan was terrible. And the tanning company tried everything they could to try to help them, help her. They had her go rinse, go wash, all that didn't, didn't work, didn't help. Shorting your cardio sessions, yeah. Yeah, and intensity too. How many of you guys just do cardio to get to cardio done and don't keep the intensity up? Yep. Use all the time you have to your advantage, brick by brick, the details create the picture. Absolutely. Little by little, inch by inch. This is a game of inches. For those of you guys that have been in this for a while, you know how hard it is to grow an extra inch of muscle wherever it is you need it, whether it's your quads, your glutes, your shoulders, whatever it might be. It's hard to grow an inch of muscle around. It's a game of inches. And it comes down to what you do every single day. It's not gonna happen overnight. Nothing does. 
Nothing worth having comes overnight. Nothing. Everything worth having and everything worth working for takes work. Takes the details every single day. More psychological related, but something you have control over, not comparing yourself to other competitors you see on IG. That can be a recipe for disaster and can really wreck one's mindset. Absolutely. That goes back to what I was saying about the paralysis of analysis on Instagram. Psychology related. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got what you're saying. <laughs> um but yeah, that's what I was saying. That goes back to the paralysis of analysis. I have this happen with competitors all the time where they compare themselves to other girls on Instagram. And I'm like, listen, you look better than her. Stop. And you don't know what she's going to look like when she shows up and gets on stage. That freaking photo could be completely filtered and photoshopped. You have absolutely no idea what they look like. And it doesn't matter what they look like until you're standing next to them. It is a game of comparisons. It's not a game of who can post the, the prettiest Instagram pictures. It's not what this is. You know, maybe she gets on stage and her tan is screwed up. That's possible. Don't let the psychology get to you before you even have a shot of getting on stage. It's a great point. You know, you sweat the small stuff that you have control over. You don't have control over who shows up on stage. You don't have control over how they show up on stage. What you have control over is what you do every single day. That's what you have control over. And if you're skimping on something, you need to go back and you need to fix it. And you need to make it better. You need to sweat your small stuff. And if you think that stuff doesn't matter, it 100% matters. There are some people out there that can get away with like fudging it for a little while. But once you get moving up, not anymore. That small stuff matters. That small stuff matters. And again, it's just little things that you, some of you guys have brought them up. You know, water, sleep, recovery, uh, stretching, yoga. Vacuums, posing, cardio, your diet, your training. I think we got most of the, the little things. And just stress in general. You know, if you have a stressful situation at home, whether it's, I don't know, kids, marriage, job, whatever, you need to get that under control. You need to get your head right. I've seen more physiques get screwed up because of what's going on between your two ears. And it may have nothing to do with bodybuilding. So if you got some stressful situations going on at home, fix that. Because it will affect what happens on stage. That's, that's a thing. Absolutely a thing. Anything anybody wants to add on this? My point in saying all of this stuff, you guys, is that right about now, we've, we've talked about this before, you get into the holiday season, you're like, ah, fuck it. I'm going to have that extra, that extra cookie. Ah, fuck it. I'm going to have that extra glass of wine. I'm going to have that extra margarita. I'm going to have, I'm going to not go train today. I'm going to sit on my butt and do nothing. That stuff will add up next year. Because you, you know what? There's other girls out there that are not saying that. There are other girls out there that are sweating the small stuff right now. They're making the gains. They're making the progress while you're not. Sweat the small stuff. If you want to be great, you got to be a little bit obsessed. That's it. You just want to be okay? Okay. You can be okay. You want people to think you're a little nuts. You want them to think you're a little bit crazy. The crazy ones are always the ones to look out for. <laughs> Oh, well, I have teenagers. It's always stressful. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Get obsessed. Get obsessed. I tell people that all the time. People think I'm nuts. It's okay. I am. <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy and it's okay. <laughs> a little OCD. That's what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it may take. Whatever it may take. You gotta put yourself out there on the line. At the end of the day, 
If you sweat the small stuff and you do all the things you possibly could to be successful, then you can lay your head down at night and say, I did what I had to do. I did it all. Right? Sorry, not for really cool sculpting. How does it help you grow glutes? It's not cool sculpting, cool toning. I'm totally great, great. Bring it, right? Yes. <laughs> cool toning. Um, I talk about it a lot. They're actually coming to QD's Conquering the Stage. It's a it's a uh, electrical current that helps you to build muscle. So it's an actual device. It's a machine that helps you to activate muscle fibers. So, um, but yeah, the more that you do this, the more that you focus on the details, the more that you focus on being obsessed over what you want, the greater you will become. Right? Just a matter of time. If you become obsessed, it's just a matter of time. And people that have achieved greatness, nobody that has achieved greatness has done it being wishy-washy. They've done it by being obsessed. So let's be great. And there's enough greatness out there for all of us. Just get obsessed over what you want and sweat the small stuff every single day. Do it day in and day out. It may seem like you're crazy and that's okay because I'm crazy too. That's why I'm here with you guys every single night. I sweat the small stuff. I sweat the small stuff. I sweat the small stuff of coming on here with you guys every single night. Right? Got it. Thanks. You're welcome. Again, tell them. <laughs> you preaching, girl. I know, right? Sometimes I get on my little, my little soapbox sometimes. <laughs> I like to preach sometimes. <laughs> but you know what? I, I was watching this, um, this little video, motivational little, you know, video thing. And they were talking about how, um, you know, you see potential in people and you see how far somebody can go, but unless they put the work in, unless they want it, they're never going to reach it. And that's the truth. So I, one of the things that probably is the most frustrating for me is when I see somebody who has all the potential in the world to be great, but they're just not willing to put in the work. That is super frustrating for me. Like I sit back sometimes, I'm like, man, like, as, as an example, you're so freaking genetically gifted, you were given this stuff at birth, but you can't put the work in to make it to make it become something like, I wish I had what you have. You know, if I had half of what you have, I would be like skyrocketing. You know what I mean? Like for me, that is one of the most frustrating things because I want to see you be great. I want to see you realize your potential. Unrealized potential is the worst thing in the world for me. Mm. When I see girls that have all this potential and just never unlock it, oh, oh it's like a dagger to the heart right here. 100% facts, absolutely, 100% facts. I wanna see you achieve greatness. I'll do whatever I can to give you the tools, but you gotta put the tools to work. And that's sweating the small stuff every single day. That's doing your job every single day. And you can be great. You can be great. Wouldn't it be awesome to look back at this time next year and see that you put everything you possibly could into your dream and achieved it? Wouldn't that be awesome? Start now. Not tomorrow. Start tonight. Now. If you haven't drank all your water today, go do it. Do it now. No putting off till tomorrow. Doing it now. Sweating the small stuff now. For example, as soon as I finish up this live feed with you guys, I got 20 minutes of cardio I got to do. I'm going to do it. I got to get it done. No excuses. None. Right? Did I get you motivated tonight? <laughs> but guys, listen, honestly, motivation is fleeting. It's great to get pumped up and, and, and rah rah and preach and all that kind of stuff. It's wonderful to do that, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't put actions behind it. So I mean it, guys. Put your actions behind it. Whatever your, whatever your dream is, put your actions behind it. Pursue it. Go after it every single day. Because at the end of the day, you have one life. 
One, put your all into it every single day. And I promise you at the end of the day, you'll be happy. You'll be satisfied. You'll be excited. You'll be ready to do it all over again tomorrow. But you got to put the work in. You got to put the work in every single day and sweat the small stuff. All right. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of motivation on that tonight. That was what was on my heart. Hope you guys have had a great week so far. I hope this video spoke to you in one way or another and helps to spark some true motivation for you this week. And with that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell and we'll be back with more content later on this week. Thanks, you guys.